G'day guys, today I want to show you a foolproof system for Baccarat that you can use to actually make some good coin. So there's a couple things that you do need to be aware of in order to make this system work more effectively. So I'll go over that now. And one of the main ones is that having a look at the house edge for Baccarat, we can actually determine that the house edge for the banker is lower than the house edge for the player. It works out to be about 1%. And what that means is that for every 100 bucks that you're going to put through the Baccarat game, on average, you'll only lose $1 to the casino. So the chances of them making a profit off you is way lower than if you had a look at other games like Roulette or Blackjack or anything like that. But the way that this system works is it's not like the Martingale, it's not like the D'Alembert or any of those kind of systems. It's, it's a little bit different and it doesn't have as set a betting scheme but the way that I do it is first you've got to choose your one unit bets so for me you can see I've got two hundred dollars deposited so that means I'm going to go with a one unit of ten dollars if you had forty dollars or whatever or twenty dollars you could do a one unit as one dollar but I'm just going to go with ten and what we do is because we know that this banker actually has the better house edge and always will what we're going to do is only ever place our bets on banker and that's because that will optimize our chances. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to chuck 10 bucks on the banker there and then we're going to deal. And then depending on the outcome of this game, we're going to then alter our bet accordingly. So you can see with this, we managed to win the first hand. Now, you can see we only managed to win $19.50 and that's because the banker hands don't actually pay out one to one. They pay out a little bit under purely because the house edge on these hands is so low. So that's how the casinos sort of compensate for it. Um, and you know if the casinos have to compensate for something, there's a reason for it and hopefully we're going to use that to our advantage. So the way that this betting scheme works is that you want to follow a 1, 4, 2, 3 progression on your wins. So that means what you're going to try and do is hopefully manage to get a win after the first win and that'll then push us up substantially. So because we won that first one, we started on the one unit, we go to the next step which is four units. So we go 1, 2, 3, 4, so $40 and we bet again and we cross our hands and we get a zero. Unfortunate, zero again. Wow, that's very low, but that's all right. So on a loss like that, what we do is we go back to our original start of the betting scheme. So for me, I'm gonna go back to our $10 bets and we're gonna go again. So I'll probably chuck a profit counter somewhere up there so that you guys can keep track with me on how much we win or how much we lose. But the goal of this system, so we, yeah, as we can see, we lost that one. So I'm gonna put another 10 down then we're going to deal again. But the goal of this system ideally is to try and make at least 50% of your money back. Or sorry, win 50% of your initial bankroll. So we won that first hand. Beautiful. So now we're going to go on to step two, which is the $40 step or the four unit bet. So we're going to go again. Seven versus two, we get dealt another. Unfortunate, we get another two. Now... Sometimes you'll find that the board is really choppy like this, where it's just one, then the other, one, then the other. But what we can do is hopefully manage to hit a streak with the banker bets and end up walking away ahead. So there we go. We get an eight this time. The board's really choppy this time. So there we go. We win that one. And now we're going to up again to our $40 bet. And hopefully, if we win this one, I can show you guys the next step. So they get a three. We get dealt another card. We get the nine. Beautiful. So there's a, it'd be 30, oh, $78. So if we put in $40, that's a $38 win. So you definitely can't complain with that. And we're nearly back up. But after your second win, that's when you're going to go to the third step. So this one, we only do two. Now, this is hopefully to try and catch any chops and changes that occur. But if we win again, which we do here, beautiful, we get another $39. So after that, because we've managed to get a streak of three bankers so far, we're now going to go to our fourth step, which is a bet of $30. So we're going to play this one. We get a nine. Beautiful. So with this system, hopefully what you're trying to get is you're trying to get those long streaks. Any long streaks is where you'll start to make your money. So we've completed our four-step system now. So now we go back to the start of the system and start again. So I'm going to put another $10 bet down on the banker. 
and we'll see how we go. And luckily we luckily we did, because unless we get dealt an eight here, we're gonna oh no, sorry, because the player got an eight, we don't get dealt any extra cards. So there we go. That's that's a good example where we only lost one unit compared to, you know, if we were doing the Martingale or the DeLambert where we go up every time we win, we actually would have ended up losing a lot more of our money because we had more on the line. So there we go. We lost again there, but that's fine because we're still up. We're still, you know, ahead of what we began with. So there we go. We win that one. So we go to our second step, which you guys have seen before. And we go up to 40. So there we go. And 9 against a 4. Unfortunately, we lose that one again. Now, even though sometimes what I like to do is if, if the board is being really choppy like this, and especially if you're in an in-person casino, what I like to do is I like to just walk away for a couple hands. Wait until we start to see a streak of, you know, a several players in a row or several bankers in a row because that's when we know we can jump in. So there we go. We won that one, so we're going to go back up to our 40 bet, cross our fingers, a 3 against a 7, that's not ideal, 3 against a 1, that's even worse. But that's okay. So that's why it's important to choose a starting amount, like it would be lovely if I could you know, do this with $50 units, but unfortunately if you were just unlucky and managed to lose 2 or 3 hands in a row, then you walk away with nothing. So there we go, we lost that one again. And this is all right, because if we get these long player streaks, we know that eventually it must come back to the mean. It must average out at some point. Otherwise, the game would be unfair. So if, if we're getting these long streaks of players, it's likely to assume that we're going to get long streaks of bankers sometime in the future, which hopefully with our 1, 4, 2, 3 betting system means that we're actually going to be able to walk away a winner. So we won that one. We're going to do another 40 and hope to God it doesn't chop. Come on, deal us another card. A one, a three. We'll take that. Definitely take that. So there's another win. So there we are. We're still underneath our original bet amount. So, sorry, I'm going to go without two. So we go one, four, two, three. And that the reason why we go two, three, not three, two, is because that way if you know we get two bankers in a row, if there is a chop and a change, we actually don't lose as much as we would if we bet the three. So we won the two there. So now we place the three and we go again. And boom, we win again. So now we've completed our four step system and we go back to the start once again. So there are a couple other things that you can do to try and improve your odds even further. Um, and that's more so to do with real life casinos because we know that with a real life casino, if you do manage to win a lot or lose a lot, that the casino will compensate you for some of those losses. So we lost that one, I'm pretty sure. So we're going to just do our 1.1 unit bet again and go from there. So we win this one. Beautiful. So then we're going to up to the four. But so in-person casinos, they'll generally compensate you for any losses or if you win really big, they'll compensate you with free rooms or other things like that in order to get you to stay. And the benefit of that is now you're not having to pay for a room. As long as you're smart enough to resist the urge and, you know, resist, resist the greed that, you know, you feel inside yourself, that's how you can actually manage to get, you know, a $300 a night room for free. Um, and there we go. So we won that one. Beautiful. So we're going to go to our two bet. And we're going to see if it chops and changes, which it might do here. Yeah. Beautiful, and that's a perfect example of why we go two instead of three, so that we're only using losing two units, not the three units. That way we're still walking away $20 up from the previous bet. So we go again, we're going to start at our one unit bets again, and keep going. So with a system like this, you shouldn't be aiming to try and make yourself you know, a millionaire in the single game that you're playing. It depends on how much your bankroll is, how much you should be willing to try and win. So for me, because I went with $200, I'm going to aim to win at least $100 and then I walk away. Because if I can win, you know, at least 50% of my bankroll, if I started with $2,000, I could then walk away with $1,000. So we won that last one. Sorry, I, last bet was the 10. So now we're going to go with the 40 and we're going to go again. So zero against the three, seven against the three. Surely we get dealt another. Beautiful. We get the nine. And that's, and that's what we need. So you can see now we're very close to our $300 goal. 
So if we just chuck another $20 bet here, hopefully if we manage to win this, which we don't and that's fine, we would have been able to hit that $300 goal and walk away as a winner. So I'm just going to keep betting here. But the important thing to notice is that you, you just stick with this one four three or one four two three system because that will give you the best odds of winning. So there we go. We got that one. We're going to go one more on the banker. And that's beautiful. We get the nine. So that should, hopefully, if my maths is correct, push us up to the $300 mark. So that means I've just made $110 in the 10 minutes that I've been sitting here explaining this system to you. And it's at this point that we should walk away because... You, on a long enough time schedule, your bankroll will always go to zero. That 1% house edge will come back to bite you if you play 1,000, 10,000 games. So with that, I'm going to leave it there. If you guys want to try this system out for yourself, I've got a couple websites that I use personally that I find the best. Um, 7-Bit seems to be my go-to now. I've used BitStars in the past, but after I used up all their bonuses, they, they haven't given me any more. I mean, they give me a couple on the Wednesdays and stuff, but they no longer give me those first-time deposit bonuses, uh, whereas 7-Bit does. So that's why I've sort of switched over to here. As far as I'm aware, 7-Bit is also available in the US and the UK, not just in Australia, whereas BitStars is a bit harder to get onto if you're in the US because you'll need a VPN. But other than that, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this system and... Hopefully you guys can use it on the Baccarat tables either online or in person to make yourself some serious coin. Good luck out there, guys. Take it easy.